So when you've got three left wingers who could be left wingers for lots of clubs in the Premier League, you're going to be you're going to be going. You can't have three amazing left wingers. This is not going to work. So I don't think it will happen because um, I think Newcastle won a hundred million, and I think it makes sense if he says a Newcastle. And um, I can't see Liverpool selling uh, Luis Diaz or Luis right. Diaz because yeah, but, um, Barcelona are going to. It was originally going to be Barcelona, but I think with Barcelona trying everything to get Nico Williams, I think they'll get Nico Williams and they'll have see, the, only, the only way that you'd probably sign Anthony Gordon is if you got rid of Gapo, probably. Yeah, but for me, I think uh, with, you know, Arnest Lot being Dutch and stuff uh, and the way he's performed in the Euros, being one of the best players of the Euros, I think he, he will, uh, because it's funny enough, under Klopp, uh, Gakpo played anywhere but left wing. Midfield, cam, striker, right wing, but not left. And um, for me, I'd rather sell Luis Diaz, but I, you know, with the fact that Barcelona probably will get Nico Williams, I can't see Diaz leaving. Um, and that's for me personally, that's not the type of player I want to go for because I think the concentration should be on CDM and Sanabak, not a left winger. And if we're going to get a winger, it should be a right winger because Mo's getting old now. Mo's never had a competition on that wing. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh man, everybody wants a right winger, don't they? Yeah, we need, we need one. Everybody one. wants a right winger, everyone wants one. Yeah, yeah. Man. and uh, I think Can't I'd see. take obviously, you know, we all have our biases, but I think I would certainly take uh, Gordon in the form he showed last season, and, and and that's the big qualification. As long as he can keep that form going, I think he, he was easily the best left winger in the country. Well, Louis talking, is, talking to, to, to two lads here, which are obviously Geordie's, um, how, if you were to sell. Gordon, how much would you want for him? What he do you wouldn't think go for less like than hundred price? Yeah, he wouldn't go for less than hundred. Man, yeah, that, that's probably it because of the, you can see the projection now. Look, if he if he this season coming up, if he doesn't do well, then certainly that's gonna you're gonna have to take that in consideration. But I mean, what he shown last season certainly one of the best. I would say. Uh, young talents that just came out of nowhere, I guess you could say. Um, but uh, but Luis Diaz, you can, uh, I don't, I don't have any bias, uh, at all. I, I know Luis Diaz and I watched him on uh, on uh, the Copa America, man. He was unbelievable keeping that Colombian yeah, team alive. But it's, so, it's, I think that would be the left winger that'd be sold out of Kim and Gakpo, but I don't think they, they're leaving because I think you know. What? He had one bad season last season, I think. Did anybody, did anybody here, but specifically Bevo and obviously you, Henry, uh, we, I, my way and thinks that Newcastle are going to be competing for, for the Premier League. I, I, I think I'm happy with top four for now until we start building our reputation. But asking you, Henry, um, and everybody else, did anybody really fear uh, Liverpool, because I would say last season, I would say Liverpool is going to be the team that can beat Man City over Arsenal, who was second mm -hmm. the season, the previous season, because I felt like they had more character and obviously quality of players, even though you guys complain about not having a DM and, and all that stuff. But then you see how the season went and Arsenal kept progressing and making, you know, getting points. So anybody who is that team that can actually beat even in Man City?